Hussman here, it's Hussman's Crochet Creations, and um, I just thought of doing like a little bit of a personal update, a little bit of a vlog, I guess. Um, I don't know. So, some of you may know that I am studying fashion design at um, Inscape Education Group in Maria here in Durban, South Africa. Um, so this is my second year, I'm going into my second year now, um, of 2024, it's my second year. Um, so I just kind of like wanted to just kind of like, kind of fill you in on, on my personal life a bit. And, um, yeah, because that will also somewhat interfere with my YouTube channel and all of that, because, um, unfortunately with college and all of the assignments and things that I do throughout the year I don't have time for crochet and tutorials and things like that um so I also wanted to do this bit of an update because my campus relocated to Amschlange so if you guys are staying in Durban um or in South Africa I'm sure you would at least know where well I don't know where Berea is in comparison to Amschlange. So in comparison to where I stayed to college, um, previously it was about 20 minutes, half an hour away. It was very close to me. And now they moved about an hour away from me, which means I have to wake up extra early in the morning. Um, I had previously originally um, used to wake up at like exactly an hour before I needed to leave um, home so if my session started at nine o'clock I wanted to be there um, I would leave there by eight o'clock so that I can get there by half past eight latest or yeah I would at least have some some time um, if there's traffic on the road and things like that to at least still get to college on time but now with college relocating to Schlange I am going to have to leave much much earlier so I'm probably gonna have to wake up at six and leave by seven o'clock to get there by like nine o'clock in the morning or at least by i don't know eight o'clock half past eight around about there i guess um <clears throat> and yeah i'm schlanger that side of of life that side it's normally very busy with traffic so i really have no idea what it's going to be like but that is what today is about that is what this vlog is about so today is my open day i think it's actually the last day of the open day um the open day of my new campus was from the 17th to the 20th of january and i'm pretty sure today is the 20th so that is what i'll be doing today um i will be taking a drive to um and i'll be kind of like vlogging it and recording it along the way showing you my campus my new campus and kind of where i'll be um doing the rest of my studies um but yeah, um, I really hope that this year is going to be a much better year than last year. Last year was very difficult for me. Um, I am a hard worker and I don't mind studying and working hard and things like that. But last year was a roller coaster. It was such a roller coaster. At first, the first couple of months, first, second term, the first semester I was doing okay I was handling my work well and then it got to a point where we had seven assignments going at one time and just about every week we got a new assignment we would have to hand in one assignment and get a new assignment sometimes maybe even one or two and um, yeah last year was very very hectic some of you may know that my dad passed away three years ago from COVID and um, my father had policies and things in place and um, thankfully he took out a study policy because I did want to study further um, but yeah the study policy only covers a certain portion and I did my higher certificate in 2022 yes in 2022 I did a higher certificate which was a one-year course in fashion design and um, I originally wasn't going to go back and do fashion but I didn't give myself enough time to go find a job after college um, I literally straight after I, um, graduated or 
finished college that year I had three months and I was busy looking for work and I couldn't find a work I couldn't find a job because companies were either looking for a degree or three years experience which I had neither so I thought well then I might as well go and study the degree but I really do feel like I wasn't patient enough and I kind of kicked myself in the butt for it but at the same time I guess having these extra extra credits or extra degree behind me will be better in the long run uh, will be better in the long run um so yeah um and then the stress of finances and things took me last year along with the stress and the pressure of what was going on at college of all the assignments and not having any time it's it's funny because lecturers would say to us um you know just try and get an early night tonight or just take a chill chill pool you know just relax you know kind of thing but how can we relax or go to bed early when we have a thousand and one assignments to complete by their due dates um oh yeah last year i'd barely get any sleep i would basically go to bed at like 11 12 1 o'clock at night because i need to finish assignments um it just it was just such a bad year last year it really really was and i actually i actually had a panic attack last year and i've never in my life had a panic attack i've never really fully experienced it and i had a panic attack from the stress of the finances and like how I'm going to finish this degree with the money that I have left from my father um, and how am I going to get up and down to college now since they're relocating and there was so much going on in my head and I actually had a panic attack and thankfully my boyfriend was here to calm me down that day um, or that night um, it was a very very scary thing I'm not gonna lie this it was very very scary and I do not ever want to go back there again um, but yo, with that being said, let's look at the positives now. So with that being said, as I am going into this new year, I have kind of let go of how things were last year and I'm going into 2024 with an open mind and a positive mindset that this year is going to be different. And, um, I sure hope it's going to be different, you know, new campus, bigger classrooms and, um, the fashion students like me will actually have, I think if I'm not mistaken, two fashion studios. So one will will just be applied design, um, which is just all of like, <clears throat> like the, like, I don't know what you would call it. Um, how should I put this? Like applied design would be like illustrations and designs kind of thing. And then applied technology is your physical sewing of garments and things like that um and this time we'll be having um i think more than six industrial machines and i hope they're going to get service because last year the machines were in service properly and a lot of the machines had problems and only one machine out of the six could wind up a bobbin and all of the other ones just, just had issues um so I really hope that that's going to be different, but I am going in with an open mind and um, yeah, I just really hope that this year is going to be different with the workload. Um, I really don't know how I'm going to cope, but I'm going to try my utmost best. And um, yeah, and apparently there's no fabric shops that side and all the shops that side are very expensive because it's much longer, you know. Um, so... I, I don't know, I don't know where we're going to find the time to buy fabric and stuff, but yeah, there are like fabric shops kind of near to me, they're kind of far but near to me at the same time, um, they're closer to me than what it will be on by uh, Inkscape, I guess, um, it's like 20 minutes away or half an hour from me, so it's not too bad, um, so yeah, um, I think that is it for this like little intro, I guess, kind of update thing um 
so yeah we are gonna go just now we're gonna leave at about 11 to go take a drive to to Mshlanga to see my new campus i'm kind of excited about it i'm not gonna lie but at the same time i'm still like Ugh. I, I don't know i don't know how to feel about it also we have to pay for parking which i think is ridiculous apparently it is safe enough to park on the road and in the fields or something like that i don't know but yeah it's like 200 rand a month for parking um yeah and i calculated that for all of my expenses for the next two years driving up and down the petrol the the petrol the parking my fabric costs, my printing costs, my illustrations and things like that. It comes up to roughly about 50,000 Rand. Um, which is hectic. But I'm going to try and make it work with the money that I have left. Um, I have to be on a very, very strict budget for the next two years. So that's fun. But yeah, I am glad that I bought um, all of my new equipment that I needed at the start of the year um instead of like middle of the year or like i don't know whenever but i'm glad that i did it now before starting college um like this two meter tripod that i'm using here a ring light tripod thing my webcam which i'm still trying to get that sorted get that fixed there's something wrong with the software there um but yeah all of these things i am just glad that i have done it before starting college um but yeah so i think that is enough being said now let's get started with the rest of this day so yeah let's go hey guys so we're now in the car um driving to Anshwanga for my new college i am very nervous i'm getting very very anxious um i don't know how i feel about this but i just have to just put my head down and just campus um at the building where the new campus is so i'm feeling very very anxious um yeah i really don't want to face this but i have to so yeah let's go okay so this is the building um this is where the new campus is going to be i am so freaking nervous i'm so nervous uh, so i just walked into the campus and as soon as you come up from the lifts, this is what you are met with. Here are the doors. Um, so as we walk in, um, here is the reception. Here is Mary. She is a third year fashion student. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is like the reception area. So to the left here, we have the like little like counseling session room here. So it's like a really nice like chill session um well chill area for uh what are those things called can't remember the name now um so yeah we're just gonna do a little bit of a walk around tour um so yeah this is the reception and then here's like another like little office here and then we can go around the side and then here's like an office the side and then here are the fashion rooms so here's the first 
um, fashion room. Um, so there is an overlocker, there's the steamer, the ironing board, um, mannequin, and our six industrial machines. And then here's like a nice big table to cut fabric in, uh, fabric on, sorry. Um, but yeah, we need to get more tables because, um, yeah, one table is not big enough for the six of us. Um, so yeah. And this is the view um, from outside. Isn't that just beautiful? Look at that view. Look at that. So this is Sanders, Sanders Park, I believe. Um, I may be wrong, but yeah, how beautiful is that? Here's like another like little like, corner view. And these doors do open. There are stacking doors. So they, this is another fashion room next door, which we'll go see now. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, we can open up these doors and extend um, the room, basically. Okay, so here is the next fashion room. So this, I'm assuming this is where our applied design um, section um, or class will be, I should say. Um, so it has a lot more tables, less sewing, well, there's no sewing machines and stuff in here. Um, but yeah, again, just look at the views. Isn't that just beautiful? Isn't that just beautiful? Look at that. Some mannequins, say hi. <laughs> look at that view. Beautiful. Yeah, so now we're going to walk to the other side of the campus. That is Josh. Say hi. He's our maintenance guy. <laughs> yeah, so this is the like office area. And um, that side is the staff room. Um, so yeah, now we're going to go around the other side again and <laughs> down to the other classrooms. Okay, so it's like this long stretch and then Look at all of these views. Um, yeah, we can't open up these doors. It's locked, so we can't go um, go on here for safety reasons, I guess, or for um, like we can't smoke in the building or anything. So I guess they just close that for, for that purpose. And then yeah, we got some cabinets here, and then we got some two rooms here. Again, look at the views. And you know what I love? I love this like, I love this like little couch here. Like you can actually just sit here and just watch everything. Isn't that just beautiful? I just about all the rooms has this like little like corner chair and I think it's so cool. I feel like we were, we are all going to fight over that little corner chair. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. <laughs> okay, here's a studio directly opposite so i'm assuming that this is the interior classroom because of all of the the floor plans and things like that on the on the walls um so yeah that's that here's another classroom over here quite big again another classroom this side so yeah, the one thing I love about this new campus is that there is a lot and a lot of space. And here are, here's like a nice just like chill area. And, um, well it's gone now, but look, there was like a little geese that had laid eggs. And look, look, there's a little egg, you can see it. <laughs> I'm not sure where the geese has gone, probably gone to get some food or something. But yeah, there's like literally eggs on there. How cute is that? And yeah, this is the break room. So this is where we come to eat our lunch and things like that. Look at how big this place is. This was actually so much bigger than our old campus. Hello. Uh, <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I am recording a video for my YouTube channel. Oh, Hello. okay. <laughs> 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 okay so this is the rest of the kitchen so this is what it looks like it's like pretty massive um <clears throat> and then here is like the outside area which i think is like so so cool 
So look at this big area. It is quite hot outside here actually. It is very very hot, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, check out these views. It is so freaking hot. <laughs> okay, so let's have a tour of the rest of the place. Hello. Okay, so carry on with the rest of the tour. Okay, so you can kind of like go around this area here basically. So yeah, there's like more tables to chill a bit. And then yeah, there's like two more two more classrooms here. So yeah, there's like two more classrooms. This one's also like a like a big big classroom okay and then coming around the side you have like this nice like little corner chair here and then there's just some stuff that they still need to set up here which is pretty cool okay and then here are just the bathrooms Nothing fancy about this side of the building. Um, but yeah, so new background the side where we can see the the what would you call it? The open area, I guess. And um yeah, so that is the tour of the the new campus, I guess. Um so yeah, you can actually see the fashion room down there. Okay guys, so I just finished like doing the tour around the campus and um, I love it, I like the place, it is very nice, it is big, it's, I like it, it's got a nice vibe to it, it's really cool, I like it, I love it. Still a little bit anxious about the travelling and everything, um, but yeah, uh, so that's it, I'm going to update you again when I am at home, um, so yeah. Hey guys, okay, so I am back um, after... After viewing my campus yesterday, I am back home and it's actually the next day. Um, I wanted to um, finish recording yesterday and editing yesterday, but uh, we ended up going to see my brother um, after after checking out the campus because he also stays in Belito, which is close to Mishlanga there. So yeah, we ended up staying there until late. Um, so yeah, but anyway... Um, so, I think seeing the campus has changed my mind about how I feel. Um, I'm still a little tiny bit anxious about the traveling and the distance though, but I'm sure everything will work out and I'm sure everything will be okay. Um, as I said, this is a new year, new me, and it's also a new campus, so... Even though it's further up, seeing the campus, I feel so much better about it. I really, really do. Um, because it's so spacious and I feel like we'll have a lot more potential at this new campus. And um, yeah, it's, it was actually really big. It was actually really, really nice. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think. But I am, yeah. I I don't know what else to say, I'm like kind of speechless to a certain point. Um but yeah, as I said, I feel less anxious now that I've seen the place and kind of had like a better idea or feel for the campus. And I just I love the way that it's set up. Oh I have to tell you guys, I spoke to one of my lecturers in Sandani, um and like he's a very business minded person, so we get along so well and yeah we were like chatting and everything and I got talking about my business and everything and then an idea popped into my mind um, and I was like why not crochet <laughs> some um, wall hangings around campus um, I was thinking of doing maybe two that just says Inscape their logo so they have a short logo and a long logo. So their long logo is their 
like the full name Inscape and the short logo is just the I N. That's like their short logo that they put on like social media and things like that. Um so yeah, and then I was also thinking of doing like other wall hangings, like nice kind of designs, like with mountains or flowers or I don't know, I'm not quite sure yet. Um, but yeah, also I was like, how cool would it be if I had to crochet like like little potted plants to put around um <laughs> around the classrooms and around the campus? I think that'll just be like really, really sweet. And that'll be quite cool. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. And I kind of want to do start doing stuff for campus before <laughs> before I go back to class, obviously. Um I I actually would kind of like to get quite a few of them done before I go for registration day, which is the 5th of February. Um, so yeah, I kind of want to get quite a few done before, and I don't know why I'm getting so excited about this. But yeah, I want to have like maybe like one or two like big pots, big floral pots with like little flowers sticking out of it. I don't know. I'll see. It'll be my first time actually crocheting like potted flowers. Um, I've, I've always wanted to have a go at it and I've always wanted to crochet like bouquets and things like that but I just, I don't know, I, I felt like it was a bit much trying to get the, the wire and all of that. I guess you could probably get um, like, what's, I don't know if it's aluminium or steel wire, I don't know what, what material it's made of but normally you get like wire and like a reel or like a roll of wire. Um, so I have thought of doing that before, um, but working with that can be a bit, um, can be a bit sharp, like especially the ends and everything, and yes, yes you'd wrap it around with yarn and everything to cover the wire, um, but I feel like florist, um, florist wire is a lot more like safe, but I don't know, I feel like it's, it's like a bit much, like, I don't know, I always felt like it was just a little bit much to, to spend on to, to get like start making the bouquets i don't know why but but yeah so i'm looking forward to making some um <laughs> making some bouquets and some decorative pieces um for campus i don't know why i just feel like just putting my little little bit of something you know a little bit of me um around campus um so anyway um so yeah actually like after I did the tour, like I was kind of like chilling around for a bit um, and um, a student and whom, well, a, a possible like future student um, who attended the open day and her mom like came in as well and like uh, Mary, which was the other fashion design student that you saw in the video. Um, she was like walking them around showing them the campus and then when they got to the foyer or reception area where I was sitting with my mom um, The mother started asking me questions about About what the course is like, what's the pressure like, what's the workload like um, And will we be doing like a lot of sewing and because she's a lot more practical person and all of that and um, Yeah, um, in my opinion, I've Feel like I spoke quite confidently especially even my mom said so um so I was even though I was like a little bit like nervous when kind of talking I felt like I spoke quite confidently um and yeah I was kind of like upfront and honest with her and everything and I, I don't know if I like I don't know if I should not have said it but anyway um because one of the lectures that I had um when we were teaching um like, I feel like, how should I put it, um, like, I feel like she kind of, in a way, threw us into the deep end, because, um, she didn't, from the start, that we got the module or the lesson or whatever, for applied technology, which is the physical sewing, or the physical practical part of fashion, um, she didn't actually, um, teach us from the start, how to draft patterns, how to work on a sewing machine or an overlocker. And um, no offense to her, um, she's a lovely person, I have like, good respect for her. But she just also came out of college or um, studies as well herself, she just graduated. So she didn't have much working experience. Um, 
but so like for the first like three or four lessons she like kind of just sat by the desk and just kind of went through the courseware so by the time that we actually kind of needed to start doing something i think we had like two or three weeks left um yeah by the time we needed to start doing stuff um the rest of my classmates didn't know what what they were doing and um i essentially had actually stepped in and helped um my classmates because uh, I have um, experience working with a sewing machine and overlocker and whatever else. I was actually the first person <laughs> to finish up my patterns and to sew up my mock-up and everything. Um, so yeah, um, so I did help other people. Um, so yeah, I don't know if it was the wrong thing for me to tell her about um, this one lecturer that we had. Who, um, who just kind of threw us in the deep end and we literally only had fashion subjects for the last term and um, and and yeah but yeah so, so I don't know she did kind of like kind of like turn her face a bit um, but yeah I just I just hope that I didn't kind of like persuade them otherwise of like not coming to the campus that obviously was not my intention um, I'm just a very like open and upfront kind of person, I guess. Um, even when I spoke to Mary about it afterwards, she was just like, she was like, no, it's it's okay, like it's, it's who you are, you know, it's the way you express things, you know, like it's okay, it's all right. She was like, you didn't mention any any names or anything, so it's okay. And I was like, <laughs> even my mom said so, but um, but yeah, anyway, so. It was very very nice um it's it's actually very nice and i'm actually looking forward to um to starting college at the, the new campus i don't know why but like now i'm like so excited whereas in the beginning of the video i was like dreading going i was like so anxious um <laughs> yeah it's just it's just funny i'm not gonna lie um yeah that's the thing else i was gonna say Oh, um, about the sewing machines and things like that. So, apparently, I was talking to Mary. Um, I'm not sure if it is guaranteed, but she is saying that they are slowly going to start phasing out the industrial machines, which I think, on my part, I honestly think that that's not the right decision because that is how college is supposed to prep you for the the industry. Because in the industry, they use they use industrial flatbed sewing machines and um, for them to start phasing them out at the end of next year or, or the end of this year I should say um, then then like the full students will not get to experience what it's like working in the industry with, with an, 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 an industrial sewing machine um, because they, they're apparently, they, okay, so before we actually started last year, they said that they're going to, um, they're going to have the option of kind of like what happens with our laptops. We can either purchase a device or a laptop from Inkscape or we can bring our own device. So, um, so they'll kind of want us to apply the same concept with the sewing machine. Um, so you could either bring your own sewing machine or purchase one from the campus. So that is what, what was spoken about before um like the end of last year and now apparently according to mary what she was telling me um they said that they're not even gonna um give that option anymore of having a, a students um buy sewing machines uh domestic sewing machines from the college anymore we have to go buy our own one which i think is a little bit uh i don't know I think it's a little bit like unfair, I guess, to a certain extent. Um, but yeah, Mary said that was because um, that Inkscape slowly wants to start, um, yeah, you know, like phasing out the industrial machines because it's going to be cheaper for them. Because to maintain the machines and service them regularly, it's like far more expensive than buying a domestic and servicing a domestic, um, which I understand to a certain extent, but still I feel like having industrial machines in the sewing room um, while doing a degree or high school, whatever, while studying, it's going to prep 
people or students for the industry. And, and those machines are fast. Those things are fast. Some of them can be very scary and intimidating. So, so yeah. Um, but I also feel like having domestic is very good because it can kind of promote, not really promote, it can kind of encourage students to to work from home and kind of like start up a business from home if that makes any sense and um when it comes to sewing the options are just endless you can sew up garments you can sew up pouches accessories um anything really there's like the options for sewing machine is just endless endless so i kind of get where inscape is coming from but I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? Maybe we should chat about it in the, in the comments. Maybe we should have like a little discussion about it. Let me know what you guys think. Um, but yeah, so I'm really happy about how this year is starting off. And I really, really hope that I'll be able to maintain a balance um, throughout the year. And I really hope that that I won't get very overwhelmed and stressed like how I was last year and um yeah I do feel confident because I do as I said I do have experience with sewing and sewing up garments and everything um so I feel like I will do well but let's see so yeah that is it for this vlog this personal update video I really really hope that you enjoyed getting some insight to to my personal life outside of youtube and um my college life my student life and um yeah i really hope you enjoyed this video please let me know if you would like to see more videos like this in the future or maybe updates with my college life um so yeah let me know what you guys think and yeah thank you guys for watching and happy crocheting bye guys